The following production is presented by League Info Site and the Credit Union Broadcast Experience, QTV. InfoSite contains an abundance of compliance information, organized alphabetically by channel name, with related topics under each channel. Each of the 14 channels represents a specific compliance area, such as accounts, employment, or tax issues, and that allows us to organize the topics into unified sections. Within each channel are topics related to the specific compliance area. In all, InfoSite includes more than 160 topics, and it's within these topics that you'll find the compliance details you need. The first channel, Accounts, is one of the largest and covers almost every aspect of actual account processing, including the processing of deposits and the related funds availability rules, the computation of reserve requirements and account access requirements under Regulation D, and Check 21 and overdraft processing requirements. Electronic transactions are covered in the ACH Electronic Payments Channel. Here you'll find details about Regulation E and other rules that address the requirements for electronic-based transactions. The new rules that apply to international ACH transactions and Internet gambling are also outlined in this channel. Credit union advertising is one area where there are multiple authorities with jurisdiction. The advertising channel brings all the various rules into one central access point, so you can easily check the regulations to ensure your compliance. Credit unions must also be sure to comply with the bank secrecy rules. With the Bank Secrecy Act affecting nearly every area of a credit union's operations, you can visit the Bank Secrecy Act channel on a regular basis for the compliance information you need, including how to comply with OFAC and member identification rules when opening membership and accounts and when processing payments and deposits, and when suspicious activity reports and currency transaction reports may need to be filed. When you need to understand the rules under a member bankruptcy in order to preserve your credit union's interests, visit the Bankruptcy and Collections channel. You'll also find information to help you maintain compliance with the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Understanding board responsibilities is an increasingly important issue for every credit union's board of directors. The Board Responsibilities channel explains the Board's responsibilities and liabilities and also clarifies how recent legislation has changed them. Helping a credit union prepare for the unexpected is the focus of the Business Continuity Planning channel. This channel also provides information about steps to take in the event of an epidemic or a pandemic. Another part of running your credit union is the interaction between the credit union and its staff members. The Employment Channel can help you make sense of the rules that you must follow in order to protect your credit union from unfair practice actions and other legal issues related to human resources. Of course, our members are the core of our business. If you're planning to expand your field of membership eligibility, visit the Field of Membership Channel for a clear explanation of the rules you must follow to stay in compliance. Credit unions are, by law, restricted in the types of investments they are allowed to use. The Investments Channel details these restrictions and reviews the accounting and reporting requirements as well. To keep up with the changing and often complicated rules and regulations that impact the loans your credit union makes, visit the Loans and Leasing Channel. This channel is updated often, so you can always be in compliance, no matter how often the rules change. This channel also extensively details the Regulation Z rules for loan disclosures. This particular topic has changed substantially in the last few years and is an area that credit unions should continually review for changes. The Loans and Leasing channel also provides information about dealing with loan participations, the holder in due course rule, business lending, and a host of other items. Records are an important part of doing business. For guidance on what to keep, along with suggested retention timeframes, visit the Record Retention Channel. The Security Channel addresses one of today's most significant areas. This channel covers a variety of topics, including the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, identity theft, and the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standards for credit unions providing credit or debit card products. 
When you have a question about the various tax-related issues that face credit unions, visit the Tax Issues channel. You'll find details about a range of topics, including backup withholding requirements for members who do not provide adequate documentation or who are required to have income tax withheld. The various 1099 and 1098 forms provided to members based upon the types of accounts they have at the credit union, and the corporate forms that the credit union may be required to file, including the form for unrelated business income tax. Look for additional videos on how to use InfoSight and additional training on specific compliance topics through the CU Compliance Connection on Cube TV, brought to you by InfoSight.